This episode of Grip Tips is brought to you by Lightbulb Grip. We're back. I'm Dave Donaldson. Welcome back to Grip Tips. Today we talk about butt plugs. Now, weeks to come, we're gonna be talking about all different types of stands that you're gonna see on set all the time. Uh, but before we get into that, you're gonna to have to know the terminology and the difference between a junior pin and a baby pin, and what better way to do that than the butt plug. This is a male junior pin to a male baby pin adapter, but for the grips out there, this is more commonly known as the butt plug. And the show keeps getting dirtier and dirtier. The junior pin side is bigger at one and an eighth inch thick, and the baby pin is smaller at five eighths of an inch. Now I've used this on the show a couple of times, and typically when you're gonna use this is when you need to use the baby pin side uh, on something that can only fit a junior size. The turtle base of a C-stand is typically the size of a junior pin when the risers are pulled out, so if I need a light about that height and I don't have any baby plates to make a beaver board, this is a very handy option. In a completely different situation, let's just say that I have a Mambo combo stand and I'm trying to blast a 1K through a window of a second story building. Most combo stands all have a junior female opening and as you can see here in this stand, the combination is a female junior and a five and a half inch grip head. There's no baby pin available here. So by inserting the butt plug, we now have the ability to mount the light on top of the stand and get to the position that we need. And that's basically its primary use. But I hope this video kind of at least explains the difference between a junior pin and a baby pin, uh, as we're gonna be talking about baby stands and combo stands in weeks to come. Uh, that way you'll understand the terminology. Something real quickly that I wanted to address is that a couple of you had actually messaged me on either Twitter or Facebook saying, you know, are you done with the show? Uh, you haven't released anything in a couple of weeks? No, I'm gonna to continue to do grip tips as long as I possibly can. It's just, this time of year tends to be a little bit busy for me and there's other uh, reasons uh, too, like, such as everything that I do on this show, everything that I've shown on the show is stuff that I own. And even with the help of a sponsorship um, and my local grip house, a lot of it comes out of my pocket and I have bills that I have to pay. So there's that too. And a little bit of a shameless promotion is that I have a Patreon account. If you guys wanna help me get this channel bigger and better so that we can really dive into a lot of the great uh, techniques and different gear, maybe some great interviews. Uh, I do have that Patreon account, so if you wanna help support this channel, I'll leave a link in the description below. But additionally, this time of year, like I said, I'm very, very busy. Uh, in fact, I just got off of a Nike photo shoot, which by the way, shout out to Austin Anglin, who's our swing over there, and Justin Ward, who's a, a, a local gaffer here in Detroit. If you guys meet those guys, I totally recommend hiring them. They bust their ass and they're great to work with. But even on that photo shoot, I got to learn something else. Uh, I was lear uh, learning the power plant distro side of things as a best boy electric, and it was a blast. I mean, I literally got to sit there and actually analyze what I'm doing, and now I can confidently teach it on this show uh, as long as add to my skill set. So there's that as well. But no, Grip Tips is going to continue on and on and on. Yes, there might be those weeks where I don't have an episode, but don't worry, eventually I'll come back um, But uh, and rant feel like I'm forgetting something. Got it. Lightbulb Grip is a lighting rental house based out of Brooklyn, New York, and they're dedicated to the education and safety on all film sets. If you have any questions about rigging, on-set safety, or even gear that you've seen in today's episode, you can contact them by heading over to their website at www.lightbulbgrip.com. But that is all that I have for you guys today. If you like today's episode, please let me know in the comment section below. You can also follow me on my Twitter right here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time right here on Grip Tips. Oh,